Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how we can add values inside the cell of a part list and show the sum of those values. For example, I'm going to take the mass of several components inside this little table assembly that I have and add them together so I see the total mass instead of the mass of the individual component inside my parts list. So let's go ahead and get started. Here, I have my drawing. I'm going to right click on my drawing and choose Edit Parts List. Now that I'm inside the parts list, I'm going to locate the mass column, right click on the header, and choose Format Column. The first tab just shows me the format of the column, what I want to name it, justification, and so on. You can change that, but in this case, I really want the substitution tab. The default is no value substitution. What I actually want to do is enable the substitution. And I want to choose my properties so when mass exists, it will show the sum of the values instead of my first value, which again is the default. Once that's selected, I can optionally change the precision if I want to, whether or not leading zeros or trailing zeros are shown if they exist, and then the different types of units I can have. That's all good the way it is right now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll hit OK. And you can see the mass column changes to blue and it shows the sum as opposed to the mass of the individual component. Now I can go ahead and just hit OK, and now the values show are the sum of all the masses instead of just the single component. Nice little trick, and not that hard when you know where to look. That's it for this video. We'll see you next week.